Hey, Frank M. Ahern, Privacy Consultant, author of the New York Times bestseller, How to Disappear, and Blackmail Expert. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what to do if somebody is blackmailing you, as well as what not to do if somebody is blackmailing you, because both are equally important. One of the problems with blackmail and combating blackmail is there's no one solution. You know, the person who's 23 years old with a boatload of social media, you know, might need to do A, while the business professional who has simply just a LinkedIn account may need to do B. Okay, so solutions need to be tailored to the individual and what is known about the individual. Because everything that is known, like email, mobile phones, social sites, LinkedIn, business, spouse, all that good stuff, it's all vulnerable. So you need to kind of create a plan that's going to protect that information and protect those points of contact. Now, some people don't have the financial means to hire help. And so you have to come up with a plan of your own. You need to turn your social media off, make it dark, delete it. I mean, what's the point of having it if it got you in this much trouble? The other thing is it doesn't hurt to tell people in your world or in your circle that you've been hacked. Do not open any emails with your name. Do not accept friend requests under your name and stress the fact that the content could be loaded with the virus. So a little preemptive strike doesn't hurt. Do you pay a blackmailer? Never, never ever pay a blackmailer. If you do, it shows you're weak and you're afraid. I know you are afraid, but still, the minute you pay them, you lose control of everything. They're just gonna keep coming back for more. Blackmailers are like rabid dogs and they just go where the, where the meat is. And if you're up in the money, it's a problem. Now, it's best to stall them, trying to get money, need money. Um, just keep pushing them off if you don't have the money to hire a professional or someone to help. The other thing is if you are hiring a professional, do not hire a hacker who claims that they can locate the blackmailer and hack them and corrupt the file. Because that is just not true. Okay? Ridiculous. Don't hire someone who says they're going to find the blackmailer because more than likely they're lying to you. I mean, blackmailers use, you know, prepaid mobiles. They use app numbers, VPNs, dump email addresses. I mean, they're criminals. Don't you think they would pretty much cover their tracks? And anyway, if you allegedly or supposedly find them, what do you say? Hey, stop blackmailing me. Why would they listen? I mean, they're blackmailing you anyway. And that does not protect your identity. It could also infuriate them that you're coming across like you located them. Remember, blackmail is about protecting your identity, preventing exposure, and getting rid of the blackmailer. So take time and think. Victims often contact me and ask if they should go to law enforcement or they told me they went to law enforcement. It's if you're a minor, yes, go to law enforcement, you know, contact your parents. But if you're an adult, the police are going to say, hey, listen, ignore it. They'll go away. Stupidest advice in the world. And by the way, most cops never even investigate or deal with blackmail, let alone know how to deal with a blackmailer in like the Philippines or Cote d'Ivoire. So they just blow on you off. So do not block and do not ignore a blackmailer because they're going to contact the next best person. It could be your spouse, your employer, your kid in college. So if you cut them off, they will find another way to get in touch with you and you're not going to like it. By maintaining communications, you keep control. Control the blackmailer. There are three tactics to combating blackmail. It's protecting your identity, preventing exposure, and ridding yourself of the blackmailer. No matter what you do, whether you hire someone like me or another professional or do it yourself, you have to ask yourself, is this going to protect my, my identity? If it doesn't, it's a problem and it's failure. Is it going to prevent exposure? If it doesn't, it's a problem and it's failure. Is it going to get rid of the blackmail so it don't come back in three months? If not, it's a failure. Everything you do needs to involve those three things, whether it be manipulating the blackmail into thinking you're someone else, whether it be like feeding them fake information, no matter the cause or no matter the action, the goal is to protect you, 
your family, and your job. So if you need help with blackmail, I can help you. But in the meantime, turn your social media private and also take time to just think about what's going on. So just area ahead a bit.